Good morning guys from this beautiful beach here in Kopangan. My name is Didi Tayuhutu. Yes, I am the guy that sold his house and everything else, took his wife and kids into a camper van and started traveling the world three years ago. Now, three years later, we are still traveling the world. Now reporting to you guys from Kopangan in Thailand, talking today guys about Bitcoin price, we are going to talk about the DeFi industry, we are going to talk about PayPal, we are going to talk about WhatsApp and Brazil and central banks now killing this beautiful possibility for the Brazilian people. Also, of course, talking about the Beam project that is now stepping into this DeFi industry. Talk a little bit about socials because maybe I will make a second video today. So very cool news in today's video from Kopangan, Thailand, Chalaklom Beach, just in front of my house. Enjoy today's video, guys. On the beautiful island of Copacan, let's take a jump into my office. Ho! Yes, it's a rainy day, uh, but still a beautiful day because it feels really refreshing when it rains. It rains a little bit, so I will do the talk on my beach today, just in front of my house. Because yesterday I visited this amazing temple. Today, an easy day. Do you like my T-shirt, guys? Hmm. What does this say? This says Alifuru Maluku which means the people of the Moluccan Islands. Um, wearing this shirt because I bought this one in Ambon like two years ago. So I haven't worn this shirt a lot. I'm wearing it proudly because guys, my roots are on the Moluccan Islands. So Ali Furu Maluku. Not a Bitcoin shirt this time, but if you're interested in these Bitcoin shirts, go to our online shop because I just added three more new cool Bitcoin t-shirts, Bitcoin towels, now even t-shirts for your baby. The Bitcoin price, guys, that's what you all want to hear. Yes, we saw a huge run up and we saw a huge dump on the same day yesterday. So we are back around 9,300 ish, which is a very important level. I will come back to this important level in a few minutes. First, we are moving in this range. Like I said in many videos before, we are moving between 10K and 8K ish. So we are going up to the 10K and test it and then we fall back again to 8,600, 900 and again to 10K and again back to the higher 8,000 and again to 10K and back to the higher 8,000. It is possible that we also fall back down to the lower 8,000 region, but then we are still in the range. Even when we fall down to 8,001 to 300 US dollars, I am still positive for the long term. Again, you are used to, as you as you are used from me, you need to zoom out in crypto and zoom in in life. Yes, I completely forget forgot to say this in yesterday's videos, but if you zoom out in crypto, you can see this range, it's all short term. If you zoom out a little bit more, you can see the whole big picture of Bitcoin. You can see the whole long term picture and you will understand that this new bull run is starting very soon. A few days ago, guys, I talked about this beautiful indicator with this red cup, you know, this hash graph indicator with this red cup. I told you when this cup is going to end being red and going into flowing into white, that is the moment that the bull run will start very soon. This Bitcoin hash ribbon indicator you can see on this chart. If you look at this chart, you can see these two red cups you know they are filled and you can see at the end the red stops and then it goes over um, into white we are now nearing the end of the filling of this red cup again and every time we come to the end to this crossing where the red stops we see a bull run if we look back to all the moments in the past that we saw this indicator flashing I can tell you we saw an average of 5,000% bull run. This indicator started flashing yesterday. So yesterday was the first day we saw this blue dot coming into our charts, which means, which means that we will go into a bull market very soon, guys. If you look to the history, we can see this blue dot only appearing a few times and every time it appeared, it was just before the bull run.
and the next time it will appear will be after the next huge bull run. So it's a huge indicator that was featured by all the TAs yesterday in their YouTube videos. I said I already made my YouTube video early in the morning in the temple, so the news came out later that day. But I already featured this in a video like three or four days ago. But is this the most important indicator that we can see if we zoom out onto the charts? No. The most important indicator for me will show on the chart next Tuesday. And if we need to zoom out on the charts, then the monthly candles is really zooming out. And this monthly candle is going to close next Tuesday. If we are able to close this candle above 9,300 ish. Because then we broke down this trend line that we have been following since 2017 top. And now we've opened the first candle above this trend line and we closed above this trend line. So if we are able to close above this trend line the next Tuesday, it's really exciting, then this trend line might become the support line. So that means that the wills will see this as an indicator of strength. We are not going down anymore in the monthly chart. We broke the downwards trend line. So the whales will see this and whales only play the big game guys. They play the big long-term game and they will see it will be a market reversal and they will go all in to Bitcoin again. They will start to buy more and more and more Bitcoins if they see that the market is really turning around. I think that next Tuesday's closing candle is a very important indicator we need to look at because if we close above 9,300 will be the confirmation for me that we are going to go in this huge bull run the next two years. Yes, I'm already sure we are going to go in the bull run, so don't doubt even about that, but this closing candle is a confirmation it will start soon. If we are going to close below this trend line, so we will again find resistance in this multi-year trend line, then guys, we can also see fireworks, but then the fireworks will go downwards. I think then Bitcoin can evenly go retest the 7K region again, because I think when that happens, a lot of people will lose trust in Bitcoin going up shortly. And this in combination with all these triangles and all these pennants and all forming in this beautiful end around the next Tuesday, then we will see a sharp decline in Bitcoin, which could lead to a price of 7K. So Tuesday, very important moment, guys. I'm looking very much forward to Tuesday and seeing what happens with this very important Bitcoin candle closing and hopefully above 9,300. The, the coolest thing would be if we not just close above 9,300, but if we even close about 9,500 or if we even close above 10,500. But man, I think that will be difficult on this short notice. But let's see what happens next Tuesday. It's an exciting moment, I think, for the whole Bitcoin community. So we need to wait five more days for this. But what the hell, these five more days, I'm going to just enjoy the beautiful Bitcoin life here on Copenhagen, even when it's raining, guys. CryptoQuant yesterday said that every time we saw this huge outflow of the Bitcoin mining wallets into exchanges or into different Bitcoin wallets, like wallets that are used for OTC deals, every time we see this, peaks, these red line peaks into the charts, there is a Bitcoin dump after. And as you can see, yes, on these charts, the 23rd and the 24th, we saw these huge peaks of outflows of Bitcoin out of the pool in Bitcoin mining pool. So this is just one Bitcoin mining pool pool in and there was a huge um, outflow. And we can see that indeed the price afterwards declined. I don't know if we can just take one pool and then say this is the one, this is the reason why the Bitcoin price declined because I think the outflow was like too small for this but maybe this is just an indicator for the whole mining landscape and it's just not alone only pooling but maybe it's many more miners and many more mining pools that having these huge outflows of their wallets into OTC wallets or into exchange wallets and then maybe in total they can influence the price, but not only Putin, I think. And I had a briefly conversation with him online and it's a really cool guy that is leading these pools. So uh, yeah, they are in it for the same reasons as I am. So if you are going to join the mining pool, I would join uh, Putin, guys. And I don't know they are not paying me commissions. They should pay me commissions for what I'm doing now. <laughs> I'm chilling their project, but no guys, I I'm not being paid for this. I'm just very excited about these things and that's why I share them. I need to start walking a little bit faster towards home guys because it is becoming really dark at the back if, as you can see the clouds over there ish it's dark 
and I can see it's raining on the sea um, and sometimes these rain showers start and they are massive so I want to walk towards the house again and then maybe even um, record the rest of the video inside of my sala I think I'm going to record a second video today because I have some beautiful news about the Barcelona token being sold on the socials platform you can buy the Barcelona token using the Chilis Chilis is the currency that is used on the socials platform I've already talked about a socials platform now for many times no again they are also not paying me <laughs> I just find it's a very cool platform that is aligned with my passion in my life that was football you know I, I played football for many years I still follow football I love Barcelona's team I love Messi Maradona and all these guys as you have seen they all appeared in my videos um, so I am just going to make a second video today how to start an account on socials and how to buy these Barcelona tokens I won't include it in this video because then this video will be too long I think maybe I should create a tutorial on how to buy Barcelona tokens yeah I will make a tutorial on Barcelona tokens later today as well. Guys, yesterday I talked about the DeFi industry, uh, DEFI industry, decentralized finance industry. Yes, stable currencies are a huge part of this industry, guys. And if you look at this industry, it has grown tremendously the last couple of months. We are now at a $1.6 billion DeFi market cap. That's a huge market of stable currencies. It has grown tremendously. I think from 800 million now, it doubled to 1.6 billion. This shows that people are very interested in these stable currencies, guys. People just wanna have a safe haven and don't have all the volatile risks of Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin is going up and down, going up and down. And some people wanna support cryptocurrencies, but are still too afraid to go fully all into something very volatile as Bitcoin. So they will choose stable currencies. And these stable currencies I use to hedge into when I sell my Bitcoins and I expect a dip. I sell my Bitcoins for, for example, Tether, and then I wait till Bitcoin drops back down and then I buy Bitcoin again with these stable currencies. So this market is growing tremendously. I'm going to watch one development in this market very closely. And this project is called Beam. Beam is a project that is now telling us that they are going to launch with their hard fork on the 28th of June. They are going to launch private DeFi, which means that there will be decentralized finance, but with all the privacy features built into it. Beam is stating that they are going to make it able that you will unlink the transaction history so you, nobody can see how these stable currencies were used in the past. So you unlink the transaction history. That will increase the privacy tremendously. And they say you will be able to send assets using non-interactive transactions. I still don't know how, what this means, but, but I'm going to dig into this. So I'm going to look at uh, Beam because if this DeFi industry is tr growing this huge, then I need to check out what the newest trend is and Beam could be a new trend in this industry. Good morning! <laughs> Um, I just met one of the YouTubers there over there. She's also big in YouTube, beautiful blue eyes and red hair. See you later. Enjoy the rain. <laughs> uh, Beam will call these things confidential assets, uh, CAs, shortcut. So if you want to have these confidential assets, you need to stake the Beam coin, of course. You need to stake about 3,000 Beams, and this is about 1,400 US dollars. So, uh, the, so the moment you start to stake these 3,000 Beam coins, you will be able and have access to these confidential assets, and you will be able to transact in a very private way with stable currencies. And yes, you can exchange these confidential assets with Bitcoin, Litecoin, of course with Beam, and I think with Qtum. So yes, this project is very exciting. I'm going to dig into it a little bit more deeper and maybe come back to it in another video, guys. Do you remember, guys, I talked about WhatsApp being becoming this payment app now in Brazil? And this one was crossed off by the Brazilian Central Bank. Facebook is the owner of WhatsApp and they told whole Brazil, guys, we are going to launch the payment uh, possibility in WhatsApp. So you can use WhatsApp now as a payment and send money to each other. You know, most Brazilian people don't have a bank account, but now somebody that does have a bank account, this is the central bank of Brazil. They just said, nah, we are going to stop this project. This is illegal. You are not able to launch this WhatsApp payment future 
in the near future because I know why because this beautiful Central Bank of Brazil is launching its own app in the end of 2020 I think it's called pixel or pixis or something like this I don't even want to know the name I think again it's a fuck you of the central banks to our community like if you want to make competition in our world we are just not going to allow it I am going to say this back to the central bank fuck you we are going to do it we are going to do it in our own way because I think now the Brazilian people will understand your centralized power and they won't need WhatsApp to transact Bitcoin guys. They can transact Bitcoin just using a Bitcoin wallet. So you can try to stop this beautiful technical evolution as a central bank. But I am very positive guys that you are not going to succeed in stopping this beautiful, amazing technical evolution which will create a beautiful and amazing monetary revolution. Just go with the flow, guys. You are not able to stop this thing. And why would they want to stop this beautiful thing like Bitcoin if all these huge payment providing companies like PayPal and Venmo are now entering this Bitcoin market? Why are these huge central banks still so hateful against this crypto community? Because guys, PayPal is even doing it now and PayPal is still king in the world if it comes to online transactions. PayPal did 17.7 billion US dollar on online transactions last year. They are growing every year as you can see in this chart. They have been growing tremendously and they are going to grow much bigger in the future because it's easy to use. You can use an email address to pay people. And yes, we can see this also in Bitcoin. You can already send Bitcoin to email addresses. You can already send Bitcoin to names. I just use Lie.im wallet. Um, you can sign up to Lie.im using my referral link, of course. And then you just send your Bitcoins or your Litecoins or your Ethereum to an email address. And this guy just receives these currencies or a link to claim these currencies. What we see that PayPal has provided for the world, blockchain and crypto industry is providing this for the world as well. So they need to flow into each other. I think PayPal is a huge step. If we look, for example, at a bigger blockchain supporting financial tool, we could look at Cash App. Like Cash App uh, had a 1.1 billion revenue last year. That's like a little bit less than 17.7 billion. But of this 1.1 billion, I think 60% was created by Bitcoin. So maybe in the future, 60% of PayPal's revenue will be caused by Bitcoin. <laughs> that would be like 8 billion a year uh, or something. Nah, that's just a joke. But you know, the, the future is bright if these Jewish tech giants are going to join forces with the whole Bitcoin industry guys it's a very positive outlook for bitcoin again central banks you are not going to stop us that was the video for today's guys i hope you enjoyed the video give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel um, even share it with your communities hit the bell button so you will be notified on every new video and maybe even leave a comment because i love answering your comments thank you for all the tips and advice you gave me on yesterday's video i am going to integrate all these tips in the next coming videos and please remember guys zoom out in crypto zoom in in life enjoy every single minute of the day because this is exactly what makes life worth living thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again bye